We're on the island of Fetla on a most beautiful day and so the scenery is stunning. Not many people here of course and we've been learning about the history of it in the interpretive centre behind me. But to come here on a day like this and just experience the, the peacefulness and as I said the beauty, it's really wonderful. Fettler is called the Garden of Shetland and when we came to it you could certainly see why because it is so green and that is the impression that we got today on a beautiful sunny day vast expanses of greenness then there's the big big sky blue with the white clouds rolling and the emptiness there are only 60 people living on Fetler and the few people that we saw driving around would have come off the ferry like we did for the day. Fetler is the, is the greenest land in all of Shetland and for its geology is mostly serpentine and that supports grassland rich in wild flowers from April to August. Rough Lodge is one of Shetland's most unusual buildings. It was built by Arthur Nicholson in 1820 on the site of an older hall and in the style of Georgian Gothic, but later members of the family added their own additions to it. The Folly is the tower is built on the site of an Iron Age broch and it was used for a time in the 19th century as an astronomical centre. Arthur Nicholson was a pioneer in Shetland of the clearances and so when he came to Fetler he prevented the crofters from using the pasture for their land and instead hundreds of them were cleared to make way for sheep. Despite being the fourth largest of the 100 Shetland Islands, Fetler has one of the lowest populations. In the first half of the 19th century, over 860 people lived in Fetler. However, as the 19th century progressed, the laird decided to clear much of the island to make room for more sheep, and hundreds of people were evicted from their crofts. The clearances took places at terrible times. The half fishing had come to an end and as Fetler has no natural harbour, the population were almost totally reliant on crofting. The island of population went into a steep decline and vast areas of Fetler were left uninhabited. Stone from the empty croft houses was used to build Bruff Lodge and the island population never recovered. We didn't see evidence of things being grown. I mean, there weren't fields of crops, for example. There are sheep, there are some cattle, there are ponies. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's the grass. Planty grubs line the roadside from Aith to Finney. They are circular stone shelters that were used to raise young plants, like kale from seed. Fettler is well known for birds which come for hundreds of miles but because we're here in the breeding season a, a large part of Fettler is actually closed to the public. By the Lock of Finney we could hear the calling of the birds, the curlews and the wimbrels and, and others which we don't know. Sometimes you could just hear birds and not see them and other times, the larks were incessant. Mm -hmm. 
Fetler Church was built in 1790 on the site of an earlier church and um, the graveyard has memorials to the chains Sir Arthur Nicholson and Andrew Bruce of Urie.